Well, we have something kind of special. I didn't know if the locks were open, but we do have a boat that's going through. So I may be able to show you part of that process. is a huge barge and the locks are like a process of stairs because to help the boat they certainly can't go upstairs so they come in at the level they're at And then in the chamber of the locks itself, they have a, a, let's call it a holding area, where there are doors on each side, giant metal doors. This shows some of the information. Giant doors that block the water on one side and pump out the water so that it is at the level so we have giant doors right here that are reducing the water in the center area down to the level that the boat is now at on the other side the south side of these doors so the water is now being pumped out and that will take some time now once the water in the lock area itself is brought down to the lower level that the boat is at they will open these doors and the boat can slide right in And once it's in, they will shut the doors and then add water back into this channel and bring it up to the level of the water on the front of those doors. We're hearing the water being pumped out and we can see that the water line is dropping I will just walk up to the continuation of this. I won't be able to stay through the whole process because I'm assuming to bring all that water down to that lower level, it's going to take maybe an hour or more to do that. Fine, thank you. Do you operate here? I do. Well, the guy that's normally here today isn't here, so I'm going between three and four. So oh, wow. Okay. I call it roving. So. Okay. Uh, and how long will it take for the water to be brought down to the other level? Well, this one's not as deep as the one at three, so this will take probably 10 to 15 minutes. Ten, wow, that fast. Yeah, it's pretty fast. You know, okay. they have valves on both sides, so there's okay. tunnels underneath where the concrete is there. Yes. And so when I open them, water flows through both sides to empty it. So. Oh, wow. So it's not just pumping, right. it's a matter of just opening it's, up it's actually a floodgate. It's actually gravity that does the work. Okay, so, perfect. Yep. And then how long will it take it to be refilled to so, bring the boat up to the level at the northern side? I'd say about the same time, just about. Because uh, the water wow. from up there will be a higher level, so the gravity will naturally just bring it in. Oh, great. Yep. Uh, so the whole process uh, from beginning to end is less than an hour. Less than an hour, yep. Okay. So. Thank you very much. And your name is? Micah. Micah. Thank you, Micah, for yeah. the work you do. Nice to meet you. Okay. God bless. 
Well, how fortunate. Apparently, they don't have somebody stationed at each locks. The other locks that's south of here is just a little bit south of Mechanicville. And I believe uh, this locks, uh, forgive me, I'm not sure of the number, but I think he said that lock number three is where he just came from. And he covers this lock number three and then drives on the road up to this station to do the operation so that boats can make that change. Here we can see the direction of which where the boats are going, much higher, but by lowering the water, we can see it's gone down even farther now. I think Micah is gonna be opening up gates that make that process much faster. I'm impressed with how efficient it is. So hopefully that's a little more information about the waterway, the canal, that's still fully operational, allowing boats to go through a series of steps or locks that will make this possible. Well, that's impressive now. And there's the boat on the other side. So a little study of the locks in Stillwater, New York. I hope that is educational. on a beautiful day in autumn. As Micah explained, he opens uh, doors that allow water to flow out of the center chamber at a much faster rate. Uh, we can almost see it go down. It was two or three, four inches before. Now you can visibly see the water dropping to the level that the boat is presently at. I'm not sure how much longer uh, this will really continue, but at least for the present moment, now as he explained, the water is now going down at a very fast rate. and soon is going to be at the level that the boat is at. So here you can see the two levels. Soon we'll be at the same level. They'll open these doors, the boat will enter. They'll shut the door and then from the other side, open valves that the water level at the northern end of the locks will pour into the chamber, rising the boat, so that those doors can be opened and they can continue the trip with the boat. So that's our experience 
at lock number four in Stillwater.